Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shantae, and today, y'all, we have a different type of video because I think it's around the time where you get to know me a little bit better. So today we are going to do, I don't even know what these videos are called. You're gonna get to know me video. <laughs> Um, so if that sounds like something that you are interested in, please make sure that you hit that like button. Please make sure that you hit that like button because YouTube don't like new people. I don't like new people. So it doesn't push our stuff. Okay? Like the video, please. It'll help me out a ton. Let's get into the video. I think these are called get to know me tag videos. That's what I'm gonna call mine. So um, before we get into the get to know me tag, I do want to update you guys. I had to like scratch some things out and we have to start anew and find a different way to make things work. So I wanted to make sure that I update you guys on some of the things that I have changed. You know, I do this like every once in a while. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. So this is all the tea. First thing first, of course, we have to talk about my workouts. So. My workouts, I have definitely been keeping up with them. Um, I think there was one week where I literally just could not make it to the gym, but I made it my duty the one day that I could work out. I think it was like a Friday I worked out, okay? Um, but outside of that, I feel like my body is slowly making changes and I'm getting kind of closer to where I was before I took my break. Um, as far as my workout schedule and my split i have changed it i am starting a new on monday um because i was doing two days in the gym and them two days are not cutting it it is not cutting it for me and i absolutely love the gym like i really prefer the gym over my home workouts um just because i get to lift heavier and i'm like literally obsessing over lifting heavier now like i absolutely love it so the 25 pound kettlebell that i have i think that's the highest that i have it's not cutting it for me anymore um but i do still i will still have my home workouts um of course, like it's convenience. You know, if I can't make it to the gym, then I always have workouts at home that I can do. You know, I'm kind of new to the gym, so I'm kind of just making my way around. And it sounds weird because I'm a personal trainer, but literally anybody can be a personal trainer for the most part. It's not like you have to go through any type of physical um, assessment to be a personal trainer. You read and you take a test just like you do in any other school. So um, this is like my first time actually making my, like being in the gym and making my way around and using the different equipments. And um, of course, like going to PT school helped me in, you know, this transition. Um, but you can only read so much. You have to actually apply it. So that's what I feel like I'm doing now. Um, so if you look on my IG, you'll see like, this is my first time ever doing this. This is my first time ever doing this, you know, and it really excites me. And I honestly can stay in the gym for a good two hours. I am extremely passionate about the things that I do. So, you know, I want to make sure that I am trying things out before I have my clients try them out. And I don't want to be like, hey, yeah, jump in and do this. And I haven't even done that yet. It doesn't make sense. So when it comes to my workouts, we are doing pretty good. Up next, I wanted to talk to you guys about this planner, y'all. Y'all know that I was sitting here like, you need to get a planner. You got to get a planner. You got to get a planner. You ain't got a planner. Why you ain't got a planner? Planner, planner, planner. Y'all, this planner out of here. I can't do it. I can't do it. So the last time that I was using a planner, my life was completely different and I remember in the last sit down video I was telling you guys like it's been a struggle yeah it's just not gonna work it's just not gonna work because I don't know if it's mostly because I'm in the house now or like what it is but it just does not work so I'm back to using my phone I use my phone and I literally just put everything in Google Calendar so that's been keeping me on track now. I get the alerts and all of that, you know what I mean? So I, I'm here with the times now. I'm here with the times, you know? So I'm just gonna replace the time that I did with that with journaling. 
I'm going to incorporate that into my life again because I've been missing out. You know what I mean? And I want to tap in and see what's going on in my mentals. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so outside of me using Google Calendar for the things that I have to actually be on time for, I do a to-do list every single day. Every single day, I just make sure that I know exactly what it is that I need to accomplish. This right here definitely still helps me. Um, I have different tags, just tasks, task, tasks, 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 tasks. I have different tasks that I have split up <laughs> throughout the week and I just make sure that I hit those. All right, so when it comes to my morning routine and my night routine, things are still kind of blurry. I wouldn't say I'm hitting exactly what it is that I want to do every single morning, but I'm getting majority of it done. I've been slipping on yoga for like the last two weeks. I am back on it tomorrow, period. I'm not, there's no more excuses. Um, but, you know, just things kind of just like getting away and, you know, every day is just different, you know, so... I'm just really trying to solidify that morning and night routine and I think I'll be good to go. Everything else can go in Google, Google Calendar. Why is everything tongue twisting me up today? Google Calendar. Everything is going in Google Calendar. All right, you guys, so that pretty much sums up my little update. I didn't want to wrap too much. Um, I want to go ahead and get into this tag. So. I chose 33 questions because your girl is turning 33 this year. <laughs> I don't know why some women be so weird about giving out their age, but I look damn good to be 33, okay? And I don't, 33, I'm not even supposed to be looking old anyway. So that's a whole nother thing. People really be like, you look good to be 30. Like, man, what am I supposed to look like? <laughs> But if you can't tell already, I'm a little extra, just a little bit, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle of extra. And I have all of the questions in here. And I'm just gonna pull them out and answer them. Okay, so if you want to know how popular you are not, ask Instagram, ask social media to give you questions for a Q&A and see what you get. This is what I heard. Okay, but no, I did get a few. I was asking people to give me questions that were pretty like generic, basic questions because this is going on YouTube where you guys really don't even know the basic parts of me. You know what I mean? So yes, that's what we're gonna do here today. Oh, maybe this could be a thumbnail. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and pull the first one. Here we go. Boom. Let's go. First one is my favorite type of junk food. Junk food? Um, junk food. I will say cereal. Cereal is literally, I like the sugary cereals. So I like Frosted Frakes. Frosted Frakes? Why, why would you say that? I like Frosted Flakes. I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like um, Honey Bunches of Oats. I like um, honey nut Cheerios, like, yes, sugary cereals, I would say is my junk food that I absolutely love. Up next, I'm gonna try to go through these pretty fast. The meaning of your YouTube name. So, Shantae is called So Shantae because Shantae says so a lot. <laughs> I'm always like, so, 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 all righty, we got a special guest. It's me. <laughs> Who are you? Rihanna. 
Renard. Yes, we got Renard here with us. He is going to pull the next question. Let's go. Just one. I'm going to do with this one. Okay. So this says, play the sports growing up. That's a good one. You think mommy played sports when she was when I was growing up? Uh -huh. You think when I was this young? Look, y'all. Just found this. <laughs> you think mommy was playing sports when I was this age? Uh -huh. You think so? Uh -huh. What you think I played? Um, um, catch. You thought I played catch? That's a good one. That is a great one. Maybe, I actually maybe, did play. I played maybe. softball. What about soccer ball? I didn't play soccer. That was one thing I did not do. I did not play soccer. So, <laughs> mommy was really good at track and field. That was my sport of choice. I was really good. I was a really good sprinter. I could not do long distance at all, at all. Um, so I did the 100, 200, and I will also do like relay. Um, I did 400 sometimes, sometimes, but that was literally a stretch for me. Um, but I absolutely love running and this one right here, it's so crazy that he picked this question. This one right here loves running. You fast? I'm faster, fa than, I'm faster than everybody. I know. He's really fast and he loves running. I was looking at my baby stride literally just yesterday when we went to the park. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait till we start playing football. I can't wait. So growing up, I did track and field. I did shot put as well. I did... Um, basketball i played softball and oh i tried to play tennis y'all i was horrible at tennis i was the worst <laughs> like tennis is very very hard it looks easy but it's very hard like you have to hit the ball on a certain part of the rack i would always hit it like a softball so it would always go flying and that's not what you want to do all right we got another question It says my favorite drink. What's mommy's favorite drink? Um, chlorophyll. <laughs> right now it is chlorophyll. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I mean, so my thing is, I absolutely love sugary drinks, which is why I try to stay away from them. But I love sugary drinks, so. If it if I had to choose like a regular sugary drink, my favorite would probably be like the cran, the ocean spray cranberry situation. What about, I love every single flavor. Oh, what about cranberry juice? Yes, I love cranberry juice. It's so good. Yes, yeah, so I absolutely love, 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 love cranberry juice. Oh, tell them what's your favorite drink? My favorite drink is um um Apple juice. Yeah, you like your daddy. <laughs> Next question. Oh, and how could I forget, y'all? I'm obsessed with tea. Like, literally, I'm obsessed with tea. Tea is probably number one. Next question. And I wrote these questions down, but it's not like I like actually thought about them. So, literally, all of this is like real <laughs> all right do i like straight hair or curly hair what do you think mommy like straight hair or curly hair um, does mommy like long straight hair or do i like my hair in a bush uh, you like long hair wrong eh, do you know me at all do you know your mother do you know me but you have long hair yeah but this is it do yeah. you like cur curly hair I love curly hair. I cannot do the straight hair anymore. Like, that's just not me. When I was younger, I used to do like the weaves and stuff like that. But don't quote me because I think I might pop out with something next month. But, 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 but. <laughs> um, I prefer my curly fro. I absolutely love curly hair. And everybody knows that's me now. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, when I have straight hair, I feel like I look different. And people be like, what the hell? Um, Shantae, you got straight hair? Like, it's just weird now to see me with straight hair. I have been on this natural journey for a very long time. I need to count up the years. But I've been on this natural hair journey for a long time. I did cut my hair, did the big chop, and then I grew back out. I, I got flat hair. Yeah. yeah and it's I time would... for a haircut. Yep, I need some, like, um, longer hair. He wants to grow his hair out, but he don't like to sit. 
All right, up next we have favorite food. Trippy, what's your favorite food? Um, chicken. Chicken. <laughs> My favorite food is potatoes, y'all. I'm I'm a potato head. I absolutely <laughs> love I love potatoes. They are so good, and it can be cooked anyway. Like I like a mashed. I like fried uh, French fries. I like roasted. It, it's sautéed. Oh, it just hits different Mom, you, every single time. Do you eat chicken nuggets? No, you know I don't eat chicken. That's good, ain't it? It's sweet tangerine. So good. <laughs> so good. Next question. Here, let's make it through. You did really deep in. Just one. What is the dumbest thing you've injured? You guys. I mean, Rob, the dumbest thing. I have never had an injury. I've never, I've never been hurt like that. I've never been to like the hospital for anything. I mean, one time I did. We got in a car accident, and I kind of sliced it because um, I wanted to ride in the ambulance. But this was like when I was a teenager. <laughs> but I've never like broken a bone. I've never done any of that stuff. Always try to stay away from that. <laughs> Next question. Favorite YouTubers. Um, okay, so when it comes to YouTubers, I will say that I do like some of the popular people. So we do have Queen Nigel, like I was saying. Um, like Dama Wilson, um, Jackie Ina. When it comes to like makeup, she's also like a brown girl. Got to support. Um, what else? Who else? Um, when it comes to like spiritual stuff, I used to watch spiritual, um, spiritual so or spiritual zo. I think that's his name. Um, YP. He completely fell off, so I used to listen to him. Um, who else comes to fitness? I liked Kiera Lachey. Um, I think her name is Belle or Bella, something like that. I absolutely like her. Um, who else? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm probably, I probably don't watch it, like a lot of people, so and I'm not a person that like keeps up with names. Um, also, when it comes to YouTube, what's her name? Oh, Steph, something like that. Oh, Steph, I found her, <clears throat> excuse me, on here randomly when her video about pretty privilege went viral. Absolutely love her. Um, did I say Aaron on demand? When it comes to like business and things like that, how to market yourself, I absolutely love Aaron on demand. Um, do 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 a variety of different conversations um when it comes to like fitness uh i don't think he really taps into like spirituality but um you know just like different issues that we had going on in society eric bell is a great one um his wife i listened to her danica marie um when it comes to like the manosphere we have six the goddess of course um kevin samuels everybody has like an opinion on kevin samuels i absolutely love him and um what else i think that's pretty much it that's tea that's tea that's tea <laughs> next question Skirts or pants? Um, I am definitely a skirts girl. I absolutely love skirts. Uh, when it comes to pants, I need them off. Like, why? Why do I need pants? Like, I like things to breathe. <laughs> so, yeah, skirts for the win. What talents do you have? 
Um, I am one of those people that's kind of like a jack of all trades, master of none type situation. So I have kind of been slowing down trying to master something. First thing we are starting with is this body. <laughs> um, when it comes to fitness and nutrition, like I'm not gonna say that I will be that one person that knows every single thing. Be like, yes, that has vitamin K and vitamin A and vitamin C. Like, I don't think I'll probably be one of those people, but I do want to be one of those um, people that knows what the hell they talking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm still learning. I, I'm one of those people that will be learning forever and ever and ever. So yeah. Um, also, I know how to do hair. Um, I'm not a master at it, you know what I mean? But I can retwist locks, I can do cornrows, very basic stuff. Uh, yeah, so I can't I wait. Huh? I love <laughs> um, so yeah, when it comes to like basic hairstyles, I got you. I can't wait till I have my little girl and I get to play in her hair um, because I'm over my, I'm over my hair. <laughs> and I hope she has her dad's hair. <laughs> Outside of that, I can dance. I absolutely love dancing. Not saying I'm the greatest at it, but your girl know how to ride a beat. Okay. And what else? Um, what else? What other talents? Um, I'm a great writer. A lot of people don't know that I used to actually write poetry back in the day, stuff that I never shared. And I kind of stopped when I met my husband. So I'm a great writer. Uh, what else? I don't know if it's considered a talent for some people, but I have a natural eye for like making things look aesthetically pleasing. Like I know how to make things look good and that's just a talent. That's just a talent that I got. You know what I mean? That's what God gave me. Shantae know how to make things look good. <laughs> Next question. Why did you decide to start your channel? Um, I started my channel because I wanted to find my tribe. I, and then YouTube, I just feel like it's like you get to reach more people essentially i feel like you get to reach more people here on youtube and i just want to find my tribe that's pretty much it i want to do and display the things that i actually enjoy doing and if somebody enjoys it too we can become besties <laughs> so yeah that's why you know i'm really big on engagement so like if you like the video if there was a snippet or something like that just comment below because I absolutely love talking like this is literally one of my favorite things to do <laughs> I knew as a kid that I would be doing something talking so it's just another creative outlet for me and I absolutely enjoy this and I love it next question oh I got two where did you grow up? I grew up, so first off, I was born in North Carolina, Smithfield, North Carolina. Stand up. Um, so I was born in Smithfield, North Carolina. I stayed there till I was about five years old. And then my mom moved to Baltimore, Maryland. My mom could not take Baltimore, Maryland. So she moved out of Baltimore, Maryland. I think we probably only stayed there for a year. After that, we moved to Greenbelt, Maryland. So I'm from, I was raised in PG County. Pretty girl county. Boop, boop. Um, so yeah, so we moved to Greenbelt, then we moved to Bowie, then we moved to New Carrollton, then we moved back to Bowie. Bowie is where I pretty much was raised. Um, so from basically middle school all the way up to I moved here. <laughs> um, and I'm not telling you where I'm at, <laughs> but I'm still in Maryland. <laughs>